Now, one of the things I'm in love with is not just mathematics. My title actually is um, Professor of Applied Mathematics. And that word applied has, has two meanings. There's the 20th century meaning. And 20th century meaning is applications has always been what Boeing would want. You know, let's, let's use mathematics for an engineer to, to build airplane design or submarine structures or, or build buildings. So mathematics has been applied using the tools of sines and cosines and functions for engineers and scientists and physicists. So Einstein uses the mathematics and that's applied math. But you know, this amazing shift has happened in the 21st century. In 21st century, applied mathematics is no longer about subject. It's not about differential equations or calculus. It turns out every math you could ever imagine is applied math. So if you care about numbers, it turns out that almost everywhere that numbers are multiplied together and factored into pieces is how data is encrypted when you swipe your Visa card. So the National Security Agency, NSA, they hire mostly math PhDs who are number theorists. Number theory turns out to be useful for, for people anywhere in the world today. If you care about issues of chance and probability, like how often do I get heads or tails in a simple coin toss or rolling dice, turns out that's the foundation of how you do prediction analysis for business. You want to model these things because you have so much data coming in that you can't get anything 100% right. So now data is almost going to be approximated. You'd be happy to be 95% sure, 90% sure something's going to work because you have terabytes of data coming to you per second. So now all of a sudden, things that were known for probability turns out to be applied. If you care about patterns of how molecules are organized and the structures and shapes of a Rubik's Cube, for example, turns out that's the foundation for quantum mechanic issues and foundations for chemistry. So it turns out almost every mathematical idea that you can think of turns out to be applied, even from number theoretical stuff. And, and what I care about is shape. And uh, a revolution happened related recently to the kind of shape I care about, which is not geometric shape, which talks about spheres and angles, but topological shape. And topology just means take off your glasses. If you take your glasses off, how does the world look? It looks fuzzy. And then you roughly get the idea of the shape, but you don't get it perfectly. And, uh, and it turns out there's, at, uh, at Stanford, there's a faculty named, uh, professor named Gunnar Carlson who I worked with. And he was one of the founders of this field called topological data analysis. So what he does is he looks at data, and he takes off his glasses, and he sees the data approximately in a fuzzy way. And he's able to tell you what the overall shape of the data is in a fuzzy setting. Not in a perfect angular measurement setting, but in a fuzzy setting. And that helps a lot because most of the data that we get have noise in it, right? No data that's coming to us is perfect. A lot of people, when they fill out their forms and you're watching Netflix and you're giving Netflix data, if you're giving data from Amazon or Apple, you don't fill out all the, all the fields so they don't know everything about you. There's all these holes missing. And that, that data has noise because you might have maybe fill one or two things incorrectly. So the fact you could take off your glasses and get a rough approximation of what's really going on is beautiful. So, Using topological data analysis, you could immediately tell whether you're normal or have type 1 or type 2 diabetes really quickly. You can quickly see that there are these three branches going on, and you're going to fit in one of those things. You don't need to know the exact geometry, but that rough topology is really good. So everything's applied. That's why I love it.